Today's January 13th, um, and this is Zen. Uh, registered name is Christiette. This is actually my horse. Um, we had a lesson yesterday, and she she came up quite stiff. And uh, my trainer and I decided that she needed to have a bit of body work done. Um, just like any other trade, it seems to be your own horse that gets the massage last. So she's been a while since I've done it. Um, she uh, was quite difficult bending, especially to the right. Uh, on her right lead was tough. So um, I thought, well, let's give her a head to toe and see what happens and see how she does. It's a little bit warmer today. The weather's been really icy and horrible. So um, I, I have a feeling a lot of the stiffness in her is probably because she's being very careful on the ice. And uh, she, she's not allowed to move or able to move around because of the icy conditions like she usually does. Usually she's never uh, walking. She's usually trotting or cantering. Uh, but in this uh, terrible ground, she has been basically tiptoeing everywhere. So not only is she sore, she's also spicy. So uh, she needs to get working. And uh, so we need to get the stiffness out of her. So starting off, I started on her head. She was really distracted. She was not very happy to stand. Um, and I think it's because my other horse hadn't uh, joined us up at the barn. Um, so she was quite distracted, so she needed to have a little time to kind of settle in and, and behave herself. Um, but I started on her head, and she was very responsive to head massaging. She really likes the mandible massaging, and uh, I was able to put my fingers in her mouth to get a really good stretch in her tongue, and she enjoyed that. I also did some um, pressure points to kind of get some endorphins flowing just to settle her down a bit. Um, I went into her neck. Um, her, ne her ne neck actually felt really fantastic. She's she's nice and soft, and um, she enjoyed nice deep massage in her neck. Um, in her complex, it felt everything. Really, and uh, so we did a really good neck massage both sides. Um, I then did her um, some cervical vertebrae stretching, and she was not very impressed with that. She was uh, quite nasty actually. She was pulling and kind of jumping all over me and didn't enjoy it at all. So I did what I could and left it and uh, moved on, um, knowing I'd come back to that after. Uh, from there, from there, um, we went uh, into her, her pecs in the front. Everything felt really good there. She uh, enjoyed that a lot. She was actually really cute. She was lifting her front legs and letting me get nice and deep um, going into her, um, um, into her uh, posterior pecs, which are down her belly, and uh, and into her leg. Um, sh she enjoyed that. I, I went a little further down her leg than I do with typical clients, just because she's my horse, and I just wanted to give her a little bit extra time and, and pampering. So we went down her leg a little bit and worked all those mus muscles. Her shoulder muscles all felt really, really great. Uh, triceps felt soft. Everything felt nice and supple. I didn't find any banding or any type of... Uh, injury feeling spots or any heat so that was really great um going from there i went into her withers and zen often has pain in her withers and i think it's just that high backed thoroughbred problem um but they weren't too bad uh there was a little bit of spasming i believe it was on her right hand yes it was on her right hand side um she uh Yes, I'm sorry. Here with yeah. So on the right hand side there was a bit of spasm. Right hand side there was a bit of spasming just at the base of her withers. Um, I was able to work really deep and get that spasming under control. She's she's quite responsive even now. It probably feels really fantastic. So we went really deep, really slow, and she liked that a lot. Um, going down. Um, um, sorry, too many notes. Uh, going down through her uh, serratus um, into her ribs, that all felt really great. She enjoyed it. Uh, just nice, slow, deep massage. Lots of uh, lots of time and patience with that. She liked that a lot. Uh, so that felt not too bad for her. Uh, her back, um, her back had some sensitive spots in it, and uh, so I worked really carefully with that. And uh, the right hand side again, lots of spasming, it, especially just kind of at the base of her thoracic spine on the right hand side, um, or thoracic vertebrae. Oh, Zen stand still. Um, quite sensitive. She wasn't uh, 
She wasn't very happy about it, but I was able to get the spasming under control and to stop. So that felt really good when I was done, and she seemed to really relax. She spent a lot of time yawning uh, once things kind of settled down, so that was really nice to see as well. Um, I noticed she has some bumps on her back, and I don't know if it's just old scars or what, but I will have the vet look at that next time we go in. Um, I'm going to take her in about 10 days in to see the vet, who is also my horse chiropractor, and so he'll have a look then. Uh, I think she needs an adjustment, which isn't that uncommon for Zen. I do it probably every three or four months uh, just to kind of put everything back. She used to race, and I think she's got a few things going on because of all that. But, but the back felt good when I was done, and she enjoyed that. Again, ribs and everything were really fantastic. Um, her front leg... Stretching was really great. She uh, she almost does it by herself. I just have to kind of guide her, and she does the stretch. And she she's very sweet and gentle and careful with me. So that was really nice. She had a really good front end stretch. So good girl, Zen. Uh, coming into her hips. Okay. So her lumbar. Her lumbar was quite sensitive today. I wouldn't say it hurt, but I think it was just a little bit maybe tired or fatigued. Uh, again, tippy toeing around on ice can do that, uh, make her quite sensitive. But I was able to get really deep uh, lumbar massaging. Um, I was able to work her tail into it and lift her tail, and she really enjoyed that. She licked and chewed a ton, which was great. So obviously, it just felt good to get those muscles just to relax, and uh, she was quite happy about that. She's starting to get restless now. She's been in here a while, so she's ready to go have some hay. All right, so then going into her sacral iliac joint the sacral iliac joint on her left side was really responsive to, to uh stretching she pinned her ears and she kind of ran me over and she was not very happy at first um so then i switched and came on her right side and did it on her right side her right side felt great no problem at all so that was kind of weird because i've never seen any pain in there from her before um, from there, I went to her sacral iliac joints, give them really, lots of really deep stretching. Her hip joints, give that lots of hip, deep stretching. Um, I massaged all through her muscles. Uh, uh, yeah, so I went, I went all through her glutes, through her biceps. Um, her biceps are, uh, oops, glute, oh, zen. glutes, biceps. Uh, went into her, uh, uh, she's going to have a poop, into her uh, tensor fascia and worked that all really well. She enjoyed that. She seemed to really relax. Uh, lots of licking and chewing, no pain. Um, she'd had an injury in August on her left hip and um, she's a little bit sensitive in that spot still. Um, it's got quite a bit of scarring in it. Although the scarring has improved greatly, you can still see the scarring is here. Um, it used to stick out like a like a almost like a lemon, I guess. Uh, it's still a little bit hard, but it we've had it ultrasounded and it's just scar, so that was good. Uh, it's still a little bit sensitive around it, so I, you know, I really try to work that scar, trying to ban or get that scar to break down. So it it is getting much better over time. She also gets a really bad sweaty mark because of the a nerve injury that she had. Fortunately, there is no lameness due to this, um, so it's just kind of a cosmetic thing at the moment. Uh, she's obviously struck herself with something there. Not quite sure what that is, but it doesn't hurt, so that's good. Anyways, I went through all of her hips. Uh, hips felt really nice. She enjoyed that a lot. Um, did lots of uh, that kind of thing. Uh, her back leg stretching was good. Um, her right was way better, or her left was way better than her right. I found her white right. She didn't really want to do it. She didn't give me a lot of, uh, a lot of response to stretching. Uh, she didn't contribute at all, but, but good stretching regardless. Uh, not as good as the front, but that's okay too. Um, I give her a big tra tail stretch, which she kind of looked at me like she thought I was out of my mind, but she did actually do quite well. Um, I do often with her, every time I ride pretty much, I do tummy up and back down stretching. She's super, super, super uh, flexible, so it's quite nice, and she enjoys that. She gets quite happy with that, too. I think it feels good to just give that back a stretch. But in general, um, 
I think I found a couple of spots that can be creating the problem with this uh, this right side stiffness. Um, oh, I went back to her neck. Like I said, I was going to. I went back to her neck and did her cervical um, cervical vertebrae stretching there again, and she was excellent. Um, she actually didn't do well when I tried to stretch, make her stretch. But if I put pressure on that vertebrae, she stretched around it and stretched like she put her nose around and touched me with it. So when I allowed her to make the stretch, she did excellent. Um, maybe I wasn't doing it the way she liked it at the beginning. I'm not sure. But she did excellent afterwards. So I'm not worried about the neck as much now. I was kind of worried about it at the beginning. But she seems really happy now. So uh, she's she's relaxed. She's quite content she had lots of yawning licking everything looks good i do however think that i need to have a saddle adjustment um i ride in a dk saddle which is an airflock saddle with adjustable um gullet and uh i think it's time to get a hold of the dk um owner danny and have uh, some adjustment done to the saddle because i think it is maybe making it a little bit sore um finally i think Honestly, I think a lot of the problems she's having is because of the ice. And I think we're going to see a lot of that in, in horses right now because everything is just terribly icy in this part of Alberta. So uh, hopefully everybody's horses are safe on that ice, but uh, clearly Zen isn't well on it. Um, I will continue to massage her. She'll get another massage next week and see how she's feeling. We ride tomorrow, so I'll be able to tell if the stiffness is uh, is going away. So that was... That'll be great to see, um, and my trainer Dana will will guide me with that. So, um, so yeah, that's my that's my girl Zen. Thank you.